Hey folks, Stephen from the Market Direct Group in Brisbane. Today I'd like to introduce you to our Jackson Forward Fold. So folks, before you pick your trailer up, there's a few things you need to do. First one is we need an electronic brake controller fitted to your vehicle. That will activate the brakes in the trailer. It's a requirement by law. If you want to charge the battery in the trailer while you're driving along, you will also need a 50 amp Anderson plug fitted to the back of the vehicle near the tow bar. This will give us a constant power supply to charge the battery. The next thing we're going to require you to do is when you turn up, we need your tow ball removed. Leave the tow tongue in the vehicle. Then it's just a matter of the handover staff, putting the coupling in, doing the nut up, and we're ready to hook it up to your vehicle. is show the connection of the poly block coupling that we use on a variety of our trailers to the vehicle. Major components of the poly block are of course the poly block coupling itself on the trailer, the hitch receiver that goes onto your vehicle when you're picking up, the pin that goes through, the two safety pins that engage it. I've already leveled the trailer so the poly block will pull in from the side but typically you'd back up, level the trailer up then it's just simply a matter of pulling the connector across, lining the hole up, pushing the pin through, take one of your connectors in, second one. It's as simple as that folks. Now we're ready to go on with the rest of the connection of the trailer. Next procedure we do, we take our safety chains hook them onto the tow bar of the vehicle. When you're putting your safety chains on, it's important to make sure that we crisscross the chains. We formed the safety cradle with the chains being crisscrossed. If the trailer happens to come off the vehicle, the coupling will fall down into the cradle formed here. Keep the whole trailer off the road and make it a bit more controllable as you're trying to stop. Good safety feature. Jockey wheels are next procedure. Simply a matter, wind it up, take the weight off the back of the vehicle, pull the pin out, rotate the jockey wheel around, and make sure it locks back into place, everything's up out of the way. Put your red handle to the top, stop it getting hit by things as we go along off-road. And next couple of things we've got to do, very quick and easy, seven pin flat plug, not only is this controlling the lights and the indicators, but it's also our connection for brakes for the vehicle. Make sure you get it the right way around. Locked into position. Then we've got the Anderson plug. The Anderson plug charges the battery off the vehicle while you're driving along. Simply slots into the back of the vehicle there. That's hooked up safely. And then just make sure we've got our wiring out of the way. We're basically ready to drive away and head home or head out to the campsite. So we've got to the stage now, we've found a good level campsite. We've unhitched from the, the vehicle. Make sure you engage the handbrake. It'll stop the trailer moving around as we open it up. If the trailer's got to be moved, always ensure that the jockey wheel is in the fully lowered position. That's its strongest position to be in, especially for a sideways movement. At that point there, we can move the trailer around where we like. After I've got it where I think it's level on our ground, chock the wheels if necessary. We'll then put the stabiliser legs down, stabilise the whole trailer before we open anything up. So your trailer's fitted with four stabiliser legs. Just a matter of dropping the four legs down, stabilise the trailer so you can move around in it. Take the weight of the stabiliser leg, pull on the blue handle, let it rotate down. Then it's only a matter Wind the leg down until it makes contact with the ground. Now if we're on sand or any soft material, a couple of um, blocks of wood, about 25 mil thick, 300 mil square under the leg, will stop it sinking into the soft medium. To put it up, simply the reverse. There 
again, pull the handle, lift up into position, make sure it's locked, you're ready to drive away. So to fill the tank on your camper trailer, simply find the key, rectangular top, insert the key, quarter turn anti-clockwise, and remove the cap. Hose in, make sure it's a food grade hose, it'll keep the plastic taste out of the water. Put it on about third volume from the tap, it'll bubble out the top through the breather when it's full, and then simply replace the cap back in. Anti-clockwise, quarter turn, remove the key, and away we go. So a quick look at the front end of the Jackson Ford Fold. Simple layout, two nine kilo bottles, two jerry cans, 20 litres each. Put a strap across the two of them, stop them bouncing around. Put a padlock on if you think they're going to be stolen. Two nine kilo bottles, simply a matter of open the latch, drop the bottle into position, do our latch back up. Then we're simply just going to take the gas line, hook it up into the gas bottle. Just like you do on the barbecue at home. Basically ready to turn on and get the kitchen going. I recommend that you actually turn the gas off while you're traveling, just to be a little bit safety conscious. I'll take you through the electrical system. Reasonably simple when you understand what's happening. Simply open. Main switch, circuit breaker, voltmeter, amp gauge, distribution switches for each one. We've got stereo, DC outlet, the lights, refrigerator, the water pump, and we've got a tank level. Main switch, rotate clockwise to turn on. It'll tell us we've got 12.8 volts, which is 100% of battery, drawing minimal amps. Down here we've got a chart that tells us don't take the batteries down to anything below about 12 volts. So we look at the separate switches on the power distribution board. When we turn a switch on, we'll get a red light to indicate that the circuit's active. If you turn it on and that light does not come on, just above is a resettable fuse. Just press back in and reset. The tank level, analog, empty, full. Very straightforward. So this is our main circuit breaker. If we get no read out here, that will need resetting. So the circuit breakers are covered by a red cover. But when you remove the, the red cover, go to the end with the copper stem on it and you'll see this little black dot here. It's a resettable circuit breaker. That will pop out about the size of a match head it's just a matter of pushing it back in. So if you've got no power, look for these first, look for that little black dot. So we come to the storage compartments on that Jackson Ford Fold. All fitted with the simple compression lock. When you pick your trailer up, all the poles in here are for the, the main annex and the cavity down here for whatever you desire. I normally keep my recovery gear in there or something I use to set the camper up when I arrive at the campsite. You need it really quick, that's the place to hide it. Next compartment, main storage. In the bottom drawer here, all the goodies. Multiple straps, mainly to hold the fridge down in the fridge slide. The coupling that will fit to your car. A wheel nut spinner, a fire extinguisher and the LED strip lights. Full bag of keys, multiple keys, so you make yourself up two or three sets if you want to. When you pack this up to go away, make sure when it slides back in, you hear it lock and you give a gentle tug on the drawer to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Just another little tip on the slides on the drawer. When you push the bar down to unlock it, slide it out, let it back up. Open the drawer. If you continue to hold that bar down, the drawer can come completely out. You'll have a bit of a nightmare getting it back in. Same procedure going in, press down. Make sure it locks into place. So as we move around the trailer, next compartment in the toolbox, let's undo the latches. Top up here, we've got our pole storage, goes right through to the other side. We've got these two drawers, simply a matter, put the handle down, pull out. Don't leave the handle down when you get it out into the locked position. There's a chance it will come right out. Top drawer. We find our wind down handle for the stabiliser legs and this one's got the freshly wrapped leg for the kitchen that I'll show you later. Simply a matter of closing it back up, push in. Make sure it locks into position. Just close your door back up. Catches are done. 
So at the front of the trailer, we have a quick look at the fridge slide area. We have a 12 volt connection here, and behind we have an Anderson plug connection for your fridge. We've got the barrel bolt here, heavy duty, stops the drawer coming out. Make sure you engage it when you put the fridge back in. There's a fair bit of weight involved. Simply hold the blue lever down for a short time, unlock it, take your finger off the blue lever, pulls out, tie down points at each end for the fridge. It's important that you tie it down into position. Off-road use, we don't want the fridge bouncing around too much. Simply a matter of closing again. Engage the barrel bolt. Make sure that's all the way in. Close the door, ready to hit the road again. So when we're traveling with our camper trailer, we have our fridge sitting on the fridge slide. It's important that we secure the fridge into its position. Simply a matter of using the straps provided, the anchor points and the handle of the fridge, into position, tighten up, do one at the back too. It'll stop the fridge moving around, especially if you're in off-road conditions. You can come up with your own way of tying it down as long as it stops the fridge moving around. Folks, in the event of a flat tire on the trailer and we have to remove the spare, simply remove this bolt on the passenger side. The tailgate will swivel out around the way and then remove the spare wheel. Put the old wheel back on, come up and bolt this back on. So in the event that we have to recover the trailer, first point is disconnect from the vehicle. Do not try and recover the trailer while it's still connected to the vehicle. Use the rated recovery points only. We have one of these each side. Should make it a bit easier to get down if you do get stuck. So Jackson Ford Fold Kitchen, easy to do. Open the door, we've got the two locks, one on the slide and the one travel lock, the heavy duty one. Disengage that one first. Hold the blue lever down, just pull it out. You'll hear the click at the end, locks the kitchen into place. We've got the stabilising leak for the kitchen as well. Basically just a piece of pipe sticking out. Goes into the recess on the bottom of the kitchen. Lift the kitchen up a bit, tighten the thumb screw, stabilises it. Across the front we've got our drawers. Each drawer has a latch to stop it coming open while you're travelling along, especially off-road. If you don't do those up and they do come undone, it will stop the kitchen coming out when you've arrived at your destination. We've also got on the end of this kitchen another slide out tray. Set your small barbecue or whatever you like on there. So we've got a few connections to make to keep, get our kitchen live. We need water, gas, power for the ignition, and we'll put the drain pipe out as well. They're all situated in the compartment under the sink. Simply a matter of finding the end, pushing through the hole in the cabinet for each one. Gas line. Power. Now water connection. Now I've got all those through, we're going to go around the back and I'll show you how to make those connections to get it all working. So the first connection we're going to make is the gas. It's a bayonet fitting, simple quarter turn. Just insert into the bayonet, push in, use the locking ring to lock it into place. Next one's the water, very similar to an air compressor fitting. Push in, lock it into place, make sure they're secure. So our final connection is the 12 volt. This will give us ignition to the three burner kitchen. Simply a matter, lift the flap up, insert, make sure your power's on and we will have power for the ignition for the gas. So we're ready to light the kitchen up now. Simply a matter, open the lid, select the burner you like, turn it around to get the big flame, hold it in for about three seconds, hit the ignition, we've got flame. On a really cold morning, you'll be holding the knob in for longer to let it warm up. Turn off or control the gas, you can control the heat with the knob and to turn it off simply all the way around. So now for the pack up, we've unhooked our power, we've unhooked our water and gas. Never close the glass top onto a hot plate, let it cool down before you close it. Make sure the tap's down out of the way. Simply put the blue lever down, slide the kitchen in. Make sure it locks into position. Give it a quick tug, make sure it's in there. 
Rotate the barrel bolt, good safety feature, not going to come open while you're driving down the road, even if the door did happen to open. Then just simply close the door, kitchen's away, you're ready to move on. So quick word on maintenance. It's got to happen. You've got to keep your trailer looking good. It's got to be safe for your family to use. Please go to our website, Market Direct Campers. Download the manual that we provide for your particular trailer. Go to the master classes, watch every one. There's a wealth of information to be had. A quick thing about wheel nuts on camper trailers. When you pick your trailer up from the showroom, I encourage you to get your wheel nut spinner out. Check the wheel nuts yourself before you leave. Simply a matter, tighten and check them. When you leave the showroom, it's important at 50 kilometres, check them again. Check them again at 200 kilometres. If you're out off-roading, camping with the family, check them every morning before you move out. So up in the draw bar here, we'll find a plaque that gives you a tightening sequence for the wheel nuts, gives you the appropriate torque setting to use, and the maintenance sequence to follow as well. Very important. Well folks, that's a roundup on the Jackson Ford Fold today. Now I'd like you to take your camper, take the kids out camping, make some memories, escape with confidence, welcome to the MDC group.